The following is a message from Senator the Honorable Adrian Thomas, Minister of State with Responsibility for Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives, in observance of World Food Day, October 16, 2022. Fellow Grenadians, farmers, fisher folk, agribusiness and agro-processors, vendors, suppliers, farm labor support workers, and all shareholders and stakeholders in the agriculture and fishing sector. I greet you on this occasion of World Food Day. This year, World Food Day is being celebrated under the theme, Leave No One Behind. This day has been so designated by the United Nations to raise awareness about food supply and distribution around the world. The United Nations recognizes access to food as a fundamental human right. And this day has been set aside to help in the fight to end world hunger. The theme, Leave No One Behind, selected for this year's celebration of World Food Day, was specially chosen for 2022. With the world still staggering from the effects of COVID-19 pandemic, the war between Russia and Ukraine, and other international tensions, global warming in recent years, and constant rising of food prices, all of these have had and continue to have a negative effect on global food and nutrition security. Grenada is no exception from the far-reaching impact of COVID-19. Global warming, rising food prices, and international conflicts. And we can all attest to the extent to which our food bills have soared because of the global issues. Food and nutrition security is therefore high on the agenda of the government. In the year immediately prior to the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, our food input bill amounted to $259 million, while we exported just over $79 million. There is a great imbalance between our imports and exports. This makes us highly susceptible to the impact of global activities on our food and nutrition security, and have been experiencing firsthand the negative impacts of the rising cost of food and fuel. If only 10% of our imported produce is replaced by local grown foods, there would be an overall saving of at least 26 to $30 million each year. This is one of the reasons our government has selected agriculture as one of the lead sector to contribute to the sustainable development, prosperity, health, and wellness of our people. On this World Food Day, and as we strive to leave no one behind, I encourage all to come on board in the transformational agenda being outlined for the agricultural sector. As part of that agenda, we all need to contribute to increase agriculture production, to eat what we grow and grow what we eat, and to provide more nutritious food for our families. I urge everyone to cultivate a kitchen, a backyard garden, and for our commercial farmers to adopt more sustainable agricultural practices, including the use of climate smart modernize agricultural farming methods, and information, communication, and technology. Let us think about the less fortunate among us who are also feeling the effect of the global crisis and who may not have an abundance of fresh agricultural produce. We need to ensure that everyone is protected and no one is left behind. As a government, our focus is on providing the leadership required in promoting and developing sustainable agricultural policies, plans, and programs geared at enhancing food and nutrition security and attracting the young people to agriculture so as to alleviate unemployment among our youths and stimulate the rural economy. 
The Ministry of Agriculture and Lands, Forestry, Fisheries, and Cooperatives has prioritized the national food and nutrition policies for review and implementation in 2023. This policy aims to promote sustainable food availability, food accessibility, food utilization, nutrition adequacy, and stability of food supplies for all through integrated and well-coordinated multi-sectorial initiatives at all levels of the government and through the active involvement of civil society and the private sector. The ministry is also reviewing the Climate Smart Agricultural Initiatives to ensure the agricultural sector works towards becoming climate resilient. On this World Food Day, I encourage everyone to work together to be food and nutrition secure, thus leaving no one behind. Let us all aim to build a food secure nation. In doing so, our farmers, fisher folk, vendors, agro-processors, and all other stakeholders who are producing and supplying our food would improve their livelihood while we strengthen our food and nutrition security. No one will be left behind. I thank you. The proceeding was a message from Senator the Honorable Adrian Thomas, Minister of State with Responsibility for Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives, in observance of World Food Day, October 16, 2022.